focus here. There you go. All right, I'm going to start off by saying that these boats are five and a half to six miles away. My camera is about 26 to 28 inches off the water. And uh, you're going to see the whole boat. Yes, there's some distortion in it. But think about on a good visibility day, which I've already shown in the past in some of my observations, that when visibility is good, you actually see the whole boat in the water. Um, and not only that, but sometimes, uh, depending on what time of the day that it is, when the sun is uh, more to the west, um, I don't get the light off the boat to where you can actually see, um, like the wake coming off the boat. But in some of my videos where I film early in the morning, you will see those wakes coming off the boat. Um, <clears throat> All depending too on the amount of light that's hitting. Um, I did some this evening, which this evening is the 23rd. Um, I actually was catching the wake coming off the boat, but I was also getting some miraging effect today. But this particular day, I was getting more distortion and not so much the miraging. Notice no mirroring under the boat. Um, you know, people want to say it's a superior mirage. A, Fathomogora, um, but no, it's not. It, it, the key is, is visibility. And when you have good visibility, you will see this boat without distortion. And even at low uh, perspective, you will see the boat. Um, when there's a lot of mirroring, the boat will appear to be cut off and you will not see the entire boat. Also, too, the angle of the boat going away from you depending on which way the boat's turning sometimes the rear end of the boat looks like it's being cut off and again it's all due to uh, the visibility um, this is uh, Bill Watts bird rack and as you see it is distorted um, and when you have distortion it is very hard to get it into focus. People say, oh, you know, this is a blurry out of focus video. No, it's a distortion. The video is being distorted by the atmosphere or atmosplane, as I will say. Um, also, too, I will play around with the compensation exposure a little bit in these. Um, I do have quite a bit of footage of these boats because I followed these boats for um, Oh, geez, maybe uh, 50 minutes, maybe an hour. But I will put them up in parts instead of, um, you know, putting it all in one video. That way for people that want to look at them, study them, and learn from them, that is the key to my observations. That is the key to my channel is um, learning from these observations. I find a lot of people don't want to learn they don't want to watch they just want me to cherry pick my videos I don't want to cherry pick them because I think all oh, the video is important to learn from and if you learn from them um, that's the best <laughs> that's the best thing you can do is learn from these observations now look at this boat that's way farther in the background yes it's distorted but I've actually got a boat that size that's not distorted 
um, in one of my videos. Um, you can go back through and look at my channel and, and compare some of these. Um, and, and I'm telling you, people, that uh, you know these boats are very visible. Um, but again, it all has to do with the distortion that's in the air, the water molecules, the evaporation rate coming off the water. Um, that all plays a role, role in what you will see. Now look at here. There's Bill Watts rack or Billy Steele's rack, and there is a boat to the right side of it. Actually, I thought it was uh, later on, um, in uh, the toward the end of my videos, you'll see. I think it's another bird rack, but it's not. It's actually a man in a boat, and you can see him out there, and he's probably way out there by Billy Steele's rack. Billy Steele's rack from Bayport is 7.78 miles add two miles going out to uh, Pine Island is where I'm filming from so this thing is out over nine miles away at 28 26 inches above the water how in the world alright people want to say it's refraction pulling things up from the curve <laughs> but there's no way I am going to buy refraction pulling shit up from the curve uh, because you can see basically it has to do with visibility not any refraction pulling anything up everything out here in front of me is flat it is level okay and because I'm low to the water low perspective you are not going to see as far due to perspective everything farther away will appear to get smaller that is just the way perspective works even with a zoom camera, it is still smaller. And look at the size of these. They, I mean, come on, people. I'm going to let this go back to its natural audio because I got some audio in here where I talk to some people that um, are out here that, uh, you know, are curious of what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let the natural audio go back on here. And you know let you be the judge for yourself again I'm not out here to prove anything to anybody because I've already proved it to myself that we live pretty much on a plane and not on a big ass ball if we live on a ball it's one hell of a lot bigger than what we're being told or taught alright here we go back to the natural audio <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
tied up to your ankles. <laughs> Again, there's a little steel rack. There's a boat beside it. Yeah, and this is my camera. <laughs> Yeah, he ain't going to be doing much diving up and down in that shallow of water. <laughs> it's a dog. I see him all the time. <laughs> Yeah, it's a big dolphin for sure. Dolphin. 